So with chair massage, as you can see, she's already on the chair. But with the chair, you actually want to show them how to actually get on the chair too. So if you could please get up. So with the chair, especially if they've never seen it before, you have to actually show them how to get on there. So you're going to tell them to kind of put their knees right here because so many people I've seen actually have their legs out like this and try to sit like this so it's just not comfortable. But some people aren't able to actually sit with their knees like this. So maybe just one is fine, better than the other. But um, when I was in massage school, I actually had the incident where um, a client actually got stuck in a chair like this. So I was a little bit nervous, didn't explain everything, and she actually had her legs like this and actually fell down in here and actually had to have another person actually pull her out. So that's why make sure you actually show them how to actually get on the chair um, just to make sure. And these chairs usually hold four to 500 pounds, um, so it can definitely hold the average person then. But with, with this, there's many uh, different adjustments with it. So with the headrest, as you can see, it can go up and down and back and forth like this. But you always want to make sure that you lock it. Otherwise, if you don't, if it's not totally locked, if they're going to push on it, then it'll go down then. And then you're just waiting for a lawsuit to happen then. Also, there's actually little knobs on here. You can actually bring it up or down for this whole area. So if you're going to have a taller person, you're going to actually just raise it up a little bit and then screw it in a little bit too. Another way, another device this chair has, a little lever here. As you can see, it can go back and forth. So you can almost have the client kind of in a horizontal position when they're laying down them. Another method, you can actually pull it up this whole area. So even though you can pull this area up, you can actually pull this up too. So again, make sure everything's tight before they actually get on the chair. Otherwise, again, it's not going to feel comfortable for them. Another method, you can actually just kind of pull here. So a lot of the chairs are kind of similar in a way. They even have a dolphin chair, it's called, where the client can be totally horizontal, so it's actually more comfortable, but it does have a little bit more gadgets, so it just takes a little while to get comfortable adjusting it then. So again, just move up and down. And another one, you can actually unscrew this, and you can actually move it back or forth with this area. But just make sure this is not right at the person's knees, because if it's right at the person's knee when they get in there, it's going to kind of jab their knee region, so it's not going to feel good for them. And then this, this one, this chair doesn't adjust at all, but when you fold it up, that's what you're going to do with this. You're going to actually kind of buckle it under and bring it down then. Okay, so what I want is I want the client to actually get on the chair. So I've showed her how to get on the chair, so just make sure both knees on there. It's kind of like a motorcycle in a way too. And then what you want is once they're on the chair then you can do some adjustments with the chair region. So I'm going to bring this up a little bit. And you're not going to, it's not going to be right every single time so that's why you might have to adjust a little bit for each person. Okay, let's have the rest down. And you can see here it's not totally on the head area. So what we're going to do is bring it a little bit forward and then just ask them to just move around a little bit and see it's, if it's comfortable for them. And with this hand thing, especially if they have any kind of carpal tunnel problems, you can just raise that up a little bit. Is that comfortable? Mm -hmm. Okay.